how did I become a pigeon rescuer? Uh, okay, what, so what inspired you? I was uh, in a car at an intersection and I saw a, a pigeon get hit and uh, uh, then it staggered around and got hit again and luckily the car just ran across its tail feathers. It didn't kill it. So as soon as the light changed, I got out of the car and ran across the street and picked it up. And it's like dodging left, dodging right, and then I finally grabbed it and I could feel it just relax in my hand. This is my original first bird's granddaughter right here, this crazy little gal. Look at her fancy feet are all furry. So these are my great great grandkids, I guess. It's like see how beautiful. Part king pigeon, part her. This is a king pigeon and he's a little dirty, but see how big he is? He's bigger than the average pigeon. Communicating with them, it's like they train you. It's amazing. Like you just you know, it's like anything. If you spend time with it, you get tuned into the frequency a little bit, you know, and that's what I I think it is with these guys. Pigeons, I don't know if you know, but they live about three years out in the world, but in a safe environment they live 21, can live 21 years or something like that. So that kind of shows you they're like pets, you know, like if we took all our dogs and cats and just threw them out in the world, that's about what the same thing is. They, but they've managed to survive because they're so brilliant. They mate for life too. Pigeons are like, uh, they're like homeless pets. They don't go anywhere. You can't find them out in the woods. They're nowhere where there aren't humans because they live off us, basically. Pigeons, like in LA and stuff, they look horrible because they're eating garbage and they have to. They don't have a place to take a bath. So, but if you look at when you notice all my pigeons, they, uh, especially the ones in the end, the aviary in the end, they're super clean. This is my little hospital right here. This is when I get a bird, I bring them in here and look after them. And then I put them in this big place over here, like a little resort hotel. You got a bathtub over there and then all the food they want and they have water. These are all birds that we, I fixed up and threw them in here and now they're happy campers. It kind of evolved. We, somebody called me and said they had a whole flock of white pigeons uh, that needed rescuing because some lady in a hotel in Gardena was killing them when they came to roost at night. So we went and threw something up real quick to house them. From what I understand, there aren't many pigeon rescuers around. I wish to have somebody make a big donation to help pay for all these guys. That's what I don't care about being a famous pigeon whisperer or something like that.